Hey, it's the Lawan Guru, and in this video, I wanted to show you my 3D printer in action. Now, this is a 3D printer that cost me about a hundred dollars, no more than that. And basically, it was so cheap because I did it with mostly recycled parts. I bought the minimum possible parts I had to buy. Now, you see it in action right now, it is printing uh, some part there. Uh, I think I'm gonna give you a closer look now so you can appreciate. Okay, so here you see how it's printing and basically the only parts that I really had to buy were the extruder itself. I bought the whole piece. It's a MK8 model and right now it's printing using 1.75 millimeter ABS filament. It also in, it can print in PLA and also I had to buy the whole electronic thing I mean this in, in, including the Arduino Mega and the RAMS board and the four stepper drivers the rest I did it myself basically I used the power tool to cut the frame basically using my hands the best I could and with some sandpaper I could finish I mean not very perfect but I did my best then this rail right here I took it from an old inkjet printer it's a it was a Canon printer these two I took from HP printers uh, pretty much like this thing you see right here right you see how it goes back and forth and then the guides that you see behind the bed, those originally looked a lot like this. Except that I took my, my Dremel cutting tool and I took most of the plastic part you see here and just left the minimum I needed, the black thing you see right there, just to be able to screw the plastic piece to my that piece of wood you see there. The whole extruder is attached to the piece of plastic I left there by just using some wire. So it's it's not very stable. And basically that's the reason why I have some some wobble. But here you can see a printed part. It's not that bad. You can see some stripes on this z-axis because it's some of the wobble I get from the improvised z-axis. It's not that bad. Then the piece, the piece of glass here, I just took it from an old scanner and I, I cut it using a glass cutting tool. And then the heated bed itself, that one I made it using a piece of blank PCB and with some, with some acid I could make the whole resistance pattern. Also about the motors, except for the motor you see in the extruder which came with the whole thing, the other motors, you see the one back there for the y-axis and this one right here for the x-axis those I took from old inject printers that I had to disassemble. Uh, also you can see how the z-axis motors are very not very common in their format. They have that weird round shape instead of the, the square uh, NEMA 14 form factor. And you can see also how those are attached using whatever thing I had at hand. Then, about the end stops, this one I bought it, but then this one is just an old mouse click. I removed the, the mouse click switch and I attached a small uh, lever that I printed on my own printer. So that, that's it. And then, well, the, the couples you see there, and this piece right here, and all these joints you see here, these corners. Those I printed after having the original version of the printer. Originally, these Y corners were basically 
uh, made of wood. I had to manually cut these pieces and drill them and using sandpaper make them as precise as possible and then that was the, the first version of the machine. Uh, oh, also the power source is an old uh, ATX uh, power source from an old PC that I had. The, the, the spool holder here, I, I printed that after having the machine. Uh, you can see that even the wires are recycled from some, somewhere else. I, one more thing I had to buy were, were these threaded rods, but these are really cheap. I could buy them in the, my local hardware store for close to nothing. So again, the, the whole thing actually costed less than $100. So that's the low-end printer. Using this printer, I was able to print parts to make another machine that actually works much better than this one. So that, that's the whole idea of the wrap wrap printers. And here we see how it's printing. Okay, and that was my low-end 3D printer. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.